We'll try to do the last part, or maybe it will be the next to the last part of this video in HD. We'll see if that uh, turns out. So, it's finished. I need to tap the holes there. And finish tapping the holes there because the other tap ahead wasn't long enough. And drill and tap those two. I re trimmed the head of the mill after our tilting. Zero there. Zero there. Behind there you can't see, but zero there too, because very close to the vice. So now we're ready to start tapping. First two pieces we'll just tap by hand since they are tapped all the way through almost. Bottom. It's just a matter of uh, removing this parallel since we don't want to go into it. And uh, drilling, I've uh, set zero in the middle of both parts, one zero there and one there. And the holes are going to be 18 and a half from each other, so we offset 9.25 each way and keep it at zero in the y axis. And we are already at the correct. Uh, Position now for the first hole.
will chamfer. Put it below here. And we'll adjust our clothes top so when you get it just right. Set the two shot cutter up now, and it's running 200 RPM, so it's about 50 surface feet or something like that. And I'm right at the bottom of the, of the slot, and I have set it in the middle here with the arrow and edge finder. So it's just a matter of uh, trying this, see how it goes. Go very slowly. First, at least. I'm lowered the table one and a half millimeter because the slot as I cut it first was four millimeters high and the T-slot nut is five so I want half millimeter clearance at least so uh, four plus one knife half is five and a half and then we have uh, enough clearance I hope so we'll do one more cut through there Start 
on the grippers again. So uh, we're back to the last step, making the schlitz there. So we'll have to untrim the mill head. We just trimmed in. But it didn't take so long to make these now. Maybe 45 minutes or maybe less. And they're a little bit thicker than the old ones. Because I <coughs> measured them and figured out Maybe we need that thickness. All the parts are finished. I've modified the length of these screws. They were about 2 mm too long. So I guess there's nothing left to do but uh, assemble. Trying to figure out which side I, <coughs> I tapped from here because that side you tap from is usually a little bit easier to get 
the screw is started from. some button head uh, screws for this instead so it doesn't look so clunky. Let's see here. Yeah, let's call that 19 millimeters. So let's replace this outside holder with a bar holder. 